Okay, and welcome. This video, just as a warning, um, is, uh, is a Windows bashing video, basically. So if you're a Windows fanboy, this isn't the video for you, because I'm going to just, just show demonstrations of, of just a, of, of one of the infinite number of things that, that just shows how poorly programmed Windows is. And I um, just want to show you right here, I've done this on, on physical machines when I help people, whether it's uh, on a fresh install and and uh, it's setting up the first user or just creating a new user account on an existing machine. It's just ridiculous. And um, I'm gonna do it on a virtual machine here. Uh, as you can see, I got two virtual machines that are identical. Uh, and uh, this one here on the left is gonna be running the most current version of Linux Mint. And over here we got Windows 10. Um, it's, it's the uh, development version that you can get that can run in a virtual machine for, I guess, 30 days. Uh, so that's what I'm testing it on. Um, but whether you have Windows uh, 8 or 10, I know it's at least those two, maybe 7 and Vista or have the same, what is this? Uh, update, no, close. Um, but let's just have a look at this. It's just ridiculous how, how long. And, uh, and I've had this on some machines, which are decent machines, take a couple of minutes. But okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the terminal over here and then over here on the Windows machine, CMD. Uh, control shift enter should start up um, the prompt as administrator quite possibly no yes okay <laughs> again that, that's not part of my demonstration but just right there it's it's just so freaking slow same same virtual machines here okay we're gonna create a new user net user add tester that was simple enough. Over here, we're gonna sudo add user tester. I'm gonna give them a password. And then it you know, asks for your name and stuff, which is nice and for to have en entered. I'm just gonna enter through all of it though, because it's not important here. Over here, I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to say log out. And on the Windows machine over here, I am going to click here, I believe. I click that icon, let's, it's should. Pretty sure that's the icon I'm supposed to click. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if Windows is just running extremely slow. I think it's just running slow. It's Windows. There we go. Okay. Sign out. <clears throat> and we'll wait for Windows to sign out. Uh, over here, I'm going to type in the password I created, but I'm not going to hit enter over here. We're going to come here. I'm going to select test user, and I'm going to start the Windows side first. And again, you'll see how much longer it takes the Windows side to go. Um, I have no clue what it's doing. We're going to click sign in here. We're going to click over here to log in, and now we're going to wait. And uh, I'm running Cinnamon on the Linux uh, Mint side here, which is one of the heavier wait. There you go. Well, it took like five seconds for the desktop to appear on the Windows side. It's telling me hi for some reason. Uh, they're happy that we're here, which is great. Can you just get me to my desktop? That'd be great. Uh, getting things ready. And you just wait. And uh, here on my desktop in this virtual machine, I hope it doesn't take too long, but I literally have seen this take three to five minutes on some machines, uh, maybe even longer. Uh, for it just to just to bring your desktop up. Uh, I know it's the first time you might have to set stuff up. And again, I'm using Cinnamon on the Linux Mint side, which is one of the heavier weight ones. Um, I like using uh, Fluxbox as box my current, so it I mean it loads up in pff, less than a second uh, once I click login. Uh, I like XFCE, which is slightly lighter weight um, than than Cinnamon, uh, and it will on its first boot ask if you want to use default setup or a blank setup for your toolbars or uh, title bars and stuff in your menus, uh, but that's the only thing and then it just You know it continues from there. It doesn't take very long at all. Uh, the Windows one here is still Getting things ready. I don't know what's getting. Oh, uh, and apparently Windows stays up to date to help protect you in an online world That's that's good. How it does it. I don't know. I guess it, I guess it stays up to date. Whatever. Okay Does that mean it updates without you asking it to? Yeah, probably and then probably restarts your computer while you're in the middle of doing something. I've had that happen back in the day. 
And yes, this video is, uh, I 100% admit, just a whining, complaining video about Windows because it is such a headache. And I'm just doing this video because I helped someone yesterday. They had their laptop. It was an old laptop. They've been locked out for years because their old roommate created a user on it and they didn't have access to the password. So they just wanted me to delete that user and create a new user for them. And so I used the old, you know, boot into a Linux distro and switch CMD for the Seth C dot, uh, dot exe. And uh, then I just, you know, logged in a system and created them a new user and then sat there for at least five minutes waiting. Oh, go to start, get started apps to see what's new. Don't turn off your PC. Okay. <sighs> yep. This is, this is life with Windows right here. Something as simple as loading up your desktop. I know it's the first time you might have to copy some setting files over some default settings if they don't aren't already existing. Um, but this is ridiculous. I have no clue what could possibly be doing now. Uh, I mean, how many icons could there be on the desktop? And and uh, I mean, it's, you're trying to load wallpaper icons and a toolbar. What are you doing? And I know it sounds like I'm whining and I'm admitting I am because it's so annoying and frustrating and I'm glad I don't have to live with it every day of my life. Uh, but it is it, the, the few times a year where I have to help somebody and I have to sit through this, it's like, okay, do something that takes five seconds. No, it's really five minutes solely because the reason you're using Windows. Make sure all your apps are good to go or making sure all your apps are good to go. That's, that's great. Apps, okay, using that. Fancy word for programs because it's the hip thing to do. Apps. Why, I mean, the programs are already installed for the last user. What are you doing now for this user? I mean, if there's specific settings for a program for a particular user, shouldn't it set that up when you start that program for the first time? I don't know. I, I, I really have no clue what it's doing right now. And I'm losing views right now probably because I know, I know, watching YouTube videos where people whine is annoying, but so is using Windows. Oh, and I'm, I'm gonna get some comments from Windows user trying to defend this. Uh, oh, Windows is doing this and this and it's important. No, it's not, it's, it's, it's just crap. It's, uh, I think it's just, it, it, it stalls out, so they just made up all these messages to display on the screen until it stops stalling out. Ah, uh, we'll be ready soon, soon, which is a, you know, a vague term, a relative term. Um, Soon I will be retiring, you know, a couple decades, you know. Oh. oh, and don't turn off your PC. Oh, let's start, that would be great. Ta-da! Yep, nothing special. <laughs> That's it. I mean, that was the point of my video, was that was just ridiculous. Uh, I don't even know, I should have timed that. Um. Okay, that's the end of this video. I'm sure you're glad that I'm done whining. I thank you for watching. And if you didn't find my whining too annoying and uh, you liked this demonstration of just absolute horrible programming, um, you know, visit filmsbychris.com. If you didn't, then, you know, go ahead, leave a comment. Leave a nasty comment, that'd be great. Uh, trying to defend what we just watched. <sighs> Not to mention the size of the image and bloatware. Anyway. Have a great day.